For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some realistic looking model trees. And you're going to go from floral wire to making it look like a tree in the wintertime. And then finally to top it off, we're going to add some foliage to really make them pop out. Step one is gathering your materials. I use 26 gauge floral wire. You're also going to need some needle nose pliers and some wire cutters. After that, you're going to have to prime it. So you need to get some primer and then some paint and glue. From there, you need some foliage to put on it, on it. And I do have a tutorial on that as well. You're going to need your hot glue gun and don't forget the spray adhesive. Step two is to measure out and cut the wire. So first of all, you're going to have to decide how big you want your tree, four inches, six inches, eight inches. What I did is I use a board and I put nails in it. One's my starting point. I put another nail four inches away and another nail six inches away. This is something you could do uh, any distance, any size that you want. And when you're wrapping it, you got to keep in mind that the more wraps you have, which is going to be strands of wire, the more intricate and detailed your tree can be. In general, for a four inch tree, uh, what I do is approximately 25 wraps for a six inch tree, 30, etc., etc. Uh, but using this board, you could just wrap it around or you could individually cut strands if that's how you choose to. But I like doing it this way. Um, from there, um, where your starting point was, is the top of the tree. So locate the top of the tree where the two ends are and go ahead and cut through. It might take a couple chops, but cut through and separate it. So now your wire is going to be in the shape of a V. After you've cut the side, try to twist it just enough to keep the two sides separate from each other. Now what you're going to want to do is kind of twist a little bit the, the two separate parts of the V just to kind of keep them separate. Now you have to decide, do I want roots or do I just want to have the bottom to where I can just stab it into the foam or into a base? If you don't want roots, just make sure you don't cut that bottom part you can twist it. And as you see in this example below, you can just twist it all the way to the bottom and you're able to poke it right into the foam. Step three is twisting the trunk. Now in this example, I am going to have roots. So I'm going ahead and cutting the bottom half of the wire as well. So now I have approximately 60 strands of wire. Once you get the wires lined up and pretty much even, grab your pliers and it's going to be time to really twist out the trunk of the tree. You want to make sure you're going to leave at least an inch, inch and a half down for the roots and make your trunk, you know, around two inches. This is based off of a six inch set of wires. And then that way you're going to have a good three inches for your branches. And you want to make sure you twist it and twist it really, really tight.
after you've twisted the trunk, try to go back and in the branch side of it, try to separate that V, which we're now gonna to refer to as a Y shape, because uh, the Y shape is gonna be key throughout the rest of this instructional video. Step four, forming the roots. This is the step that you could skip if you're obviously not gonna have any. But what I try to do is I try to separate the root section into three even sections. Once I get it separated into three sections, as you can see, I can sit it down on the table and oops, well, I can get it to stand up. Now each section, I'm going to go ahead and use my pliers and I'm going to twist it, twist it nice and tight. And that's going to be the, the first part of the root. From there, after I've twisted it for maybe a quarter of an inch, I want to separate what's left into, you know, two, three, even sections. Sometimes I even get down to where I count the strands and I always try to keep it an even number if possible. Remember the key here is the Y shape. So every time, once you start, you twist it a few times until you get you know, a quarter inch, eighth of an inch, whatever you're wanting, separate it. And then each one of those separated strands, you're gonna to wanna to twist a little bit and then separate what's left. And you're gonna keep doing that until you're down to one or two strands. And when you get down to that final two strands, that it's just gonna leave the shape of a Y or a V, however you wanna look at it. And you're going to just continue doing this throughout the whole tree. So as you can see here with the tree that I did, it took a little time, but there is the root section. Step five, I'm forming the branches. I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did with the roots. I'm going to twist a section and then I'm going to separate what comes after the twist. Now these twists are key. You gotta remember, these are the branches. Um, so once you make a twist, um, you're gonna wanna separate after that. And then each two parts of the Y that comes off, you're gonna wanna twist those for a ways and then separate what's left and twist and separate, twist and separate. It's always the shape of a Y. And then you're gonna go back to the other strand where you originally started and you're gonna go and follow down that branch, twist and extend, twist, 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 uh, twist and separate. Eventually, you're gonna get done and it's gonna be time for step six, applying the primer. The primer's piece of cake, just make sure you wear your protective gear, put your tree somewhere safe, and not in an enclosed area, and spray, 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 spray. Once the priming is done, you need to let it dry. So during this time, I like to do something, take my dog out, uh, it loves to play, play Frisbee. It's a good way to pass some time um, and gets the dog some exercise. Completely unnecessary to add this in the video, but at the same time, it breaks up the monotony a little bit and I get to show my dog off. Good job, Louie. Now for step eight, it's time to paint. There's my pretty little tree, as Bob Ross would say. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of golden brown, a little bit of black, cause I wanna make it a little bit darker, um, just a touch. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue. Uh, whether you use wood glue, white glue, um, it's totally up to you. Um, mix it up, this is gonna make your paint a little bit thicker. 
Um, me personally, I kind of like having the wire look to it. Um, but if you're wanting to conceal that, there's many different ways, whether it be with some uh, spray latex or uh, you could do multiple coats of this paint. Um, you could start out by using a glue gun and cover it up and then paint over it. There's many ways you could do it. But like I said, I kind of like the, the wire look. It just kind of uh, makes it look kind of fantastical for me. Now, if we're doing a diorama with a winter scene, we could pretty much say we're done. But step nine is gonna be adding foliage. Now, one of my other videos that shows a good, easy, cheap way to make this foliage, or you can you could buy it. Um, but I usually do two parts. When I make my foliage, I'll use some sponge, and then I'll, when I color it, I use just the paint. And then the other time type I'll do is the paint mixed with glue because it'll give you clumps. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting some of the clumps of the green foliage that I created. A dab of hot glue on the end of one of the, the Y ends of the branch. Hold it down for between five and 10 seconds and it's stuck on. Now I always start at the bottom part of the tree and work my way up and I just continue with the glue gun, uh, put a little bit on each one of the Y's, uh, grab a clump of foliage and press and apply. Now you could use larger chunks of foliage if you wanted to get it done quicker, but I find that if you take your time and work with some of the smaller clumps, um, overall it's going to end up with a much better looking tree. And this is also going to depend on how many uh, strands you use. The more branches you have, the more leaf coverage you're going to have. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, variables that go into it. But I always start at the bottom work all the way around and then I just continue working my way up until I get to the very last Y. Just remember you're adding some foliage to each of the Y's. There, finally got it done. Now what I'm going to do is grab my, my new and those pliers because while I was doing that, I would have to move some of the branches out of the way so that I was able to get some of that sponge on there. So now I'm using my pliers to manipulate where the branches are so that the leaf cover looks right and, you know, just to try to get the, uh, the tree to look more authentic. Once you get the branches manipulated the way you like, it's time to grab your spray adhesive. Go ahead and spray that. That'll keep any of the little pieces stuck on there really nice and good. And we're gonna dip this into my tub of the foliage that I mentioned I did not add glue to because that has a lot of finer pieces. Um, I dip that in, get my spray adhesive again, spray it. This is just gonna ensure that this all sticks together. Um, and that should hold it, hold it pretty good for you. And we are done. I hope you've liked what you've seen and I hope that you're able to make some of your own little trees. Um, if you liked what you saw, please feel free to share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dungeons in Designs.